Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for whoever needs it. If you really want to know about your future spouse, this is the right reading that you have come across. I'm going to be pulling out some charms as well to give additional guidance around the name initials of your person as well. So stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may not resonate with everyone out there so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that i offer as well in the description box so let's get into it and let's find out all about your future spouse let's see what is it gonna be like who is that person gonna be like so let's find out all about your future spouse let's see all about your future spouse let's find out there's going to be an instant attraction that you're going to have with this person this person is going to be attracted towards you when you are least expecting i feel like in a majority of you you're going to meet this person when you are doing your thing you're enjoying and having good time and this person is going to see you and feel attracted towards you so it is going to be love at first sight or lust at first sight coming from this person um i really feel like you know this person is going to be somebody who's very attractive too so maybe in a in a room full of lots of people you're gonna get very attracted towards each other so i really feel like you know <clears throat> it can happen in the month of july for majority of you where you're gonna meet this person where you're gonna see this person and you might meet this person in some sort of a um it, you might meet this person or see this person in the nature so maybe you are out doing your thing maybe you are you know uh, having some time with yourself and this person is going to see you and feel attracted towards you so i really feel like you know yes we do have the next card which says your self-respect is going to be what they're going to love about you they're going to get attracted to you for um uh, for who you truly are and i really feel like you know when you're least concerned about how people are perceiving you that's when you are become you know you become the magnet to all you know what you have to offer uh, uh you know you you attract the people in your life who you truly desire to have because you would want somebody in your life uh next who's going to value you for who you are and this person is going to be exactly like that so i really see that your person is going to be very attractive and they are going to be attracted towards you they might be dealing with the same situation as you are going to be dealing with uh when the two of you meet maybe you are also looking for a new person they are also looking for a new person they might have been single for quite some time as well so i really feel like you know you both probably are gonna be on the same page but you are taking care of yourself so the reason why you're gonna feel attracted to each other because you are both on the same page you're looking for love which is like probably lasting for a lifetime you're looking for love loving yourself first so i really see that is going to be the first thing ever happen in your love life when it comes to relationships so i really see somebody like that is going to walk into your life uh this person is also going to be very romantically attractive um so they will be having perfect figure perfect looks perfect height and all those things that you always desired in the life partner let's see what else we have coming up for you in love what else can we get about your future spouse i really feel like you know there is going to be a lot of um gods uh that this person will have up to all and everyone but again when the two of you meet and see i feel like and for some of you this person can be age 26 maybe younger than you uh but at the same time i really feel like you know there is going to be a lot that you're gonna feel like um I really feel like you know you might ha your person might have been through a lot in their past as well just like probably you did you know you might have dealt with wrong relationships wrong people toxic connections and they are very guarded that way and i really feel like you know when they see you meet you they're gonna put the guards down they're gonna sense some sort of a, a soul connect there they would be able to see through your soul to be very honest because i really feel like you know because of the way they have been like you know when you have been through a lot in your love life it's easy for you to understand people who have you know who are dealing with the same thing so i really feel like you know this person would be scarred uh and they might have healed themselves when you meet them same goes for you you might have been scarred once but you have healed it you are gonna heal it and when you have healed yourself from that that's when this person comes in your life 
um, and they will have their guards up, but um, yes, you know, they would not be ready, you know, you're not going to have the white dof, uh, you know, where, where you feel like, you know, if they approached you, they might have approached many other women or other guys out there as well. This person would not be somebody who's going to be approaching or, you know, looking at all and everyone out there. This person is going to get attracted to your vibe for a reason. And I feel like, you know, that is something which is very unique of them to reach out to you. So I really feel like, you know, there is going to be something very unexpected that they're going to do uh, when they see you, when they, you know, feel that, you know, vibe with you. So I really see something like that taking place. Uh, this person is not like a flirtatious person. This person is not like somebody who is like, uh, uh, even if they are younger than you, even if they are like younger, they are mature. They have been through a lot in their life, be that in love or otherwise as well. So I really feel like, you know, this person is definitely mature. Um, so let's see more cards. What else can you get to know about your person? Next person who is coming in your life. Your future spouse. <clears throat> I feel like you know the Cupid's arrow is going to strike perfectly perfect timings um, for you and I feel like you know it might come through in the month of July for some reason um, I'm picking up that uh, whenever you're checking this read now or later on I feel like in you know, July is going to be the time when you're gonna meet this person first <clears throat> See what else can we understand of your future spouse this person is going to be somebody who's very rich somebody who's very 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 rich so they would have all their time to give to you in the connection this person is going to be extremely rich that they're going to provide you a lot of uh, stability as well i'm not saying that you're not financially stable but i feel like you know, this person is going to be the provider for you even if you are doing your own thing they would not probably stop you but they would be making sure that they provide you and they treat you like a prince or a princess um this person is ready for a new journey this person is somebody who is a, a who is an explorer for some of you this person can be a traveler somebody who is a, who loves traveling somebody who's a who might meet you through travel as well um i really feel like you know this person is going to be having a caring connection with you somebody who's going to be you know ready to love ready to give in um but they are not somebody who's going to be like talkative or uh, i really feel like you know their their, their attitude is is not like some even if they are younger than you their attitude is not going to be like you know they are flirting with all and everyone out there so they are trying their luck with you as well you will know that this person is not like that you know the, the kind of people that you see out there this person is somebody different like you know they are not going to be like uh, kind of uh, trying every every other person out there and in, in, in you know wherever you're going to meet this person this person is going to reach out to you with genuine um connect that they're going to feel towards you so i really feel like you know um this person is also going to be possessive of you you and them are going to be perfect match i really feel like you know this person um you know when when this person is somebody who's a uh, um <sighs> there might be some religious um a cultural differences between the two of you which is going to be the reason why you are going to be indecisive or your person is going to be slightly indecisive um you will have that thing that i don't know if we are going to make it happen or not but because the connect is going to be so strong that it is going to work out now i really feel like in a majority of you it's um the only thing that I see here, which they might think of, is I don't know why I'm picking up Canada for some reason. Um, this person may be Canadian born or a Canadian, uh, you know, nationality holder or something. Um, or you might travel there with, with this person. But at the same time, I really feel like, you know, the other person... Uh, there would be distance between the two of you like you know when you meet maybe you are meeting because this person is traveling to your country your city or something but uh, the connection that you're going to build with this person is going to be um, extraordinary and I really feel like you know this person um, 
is somebody who's very spiritual. Somebody who, when I say spiritual, I don't mean religious. Like, you know, no matter what religion you belong to, I don't see this person religious. I see this person spiritual. Somebody who is, uh, who, who believes in the divine and everything. Somebody who has a connection with the universe. Somebody who has a connection with all and everything. So this person is somebody like that. So that's why I really feel like, you know, religion would not be an issue for them if, if they're, you both belong to a different religion. Uh, or cultural values even I really feel like you know this person would be perfectly fine they would have their concern around it maybe because of you but at the same time um, they're gonna feel that uh, you and them are meant to be so I really see something like that coming up for you in love let's see more cards about uh, this person let's see some nature feature cards let's see what uh, what can that add okay this person can be talkative, fun, demands time, loving, happy, life of party, outgoing. So it can be you, it can be them. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you might meet this person at a party or something as well. Uh, this person has, like I said earlier, they are somebody who's, um, um, who's very attractive. Somebody who's very, um, you know, probably everybody would want to be a part of their life or something. But uh, they are not... Um, they are not like sleeping around. They are not like fucking around. They are not like doing anything like that. I really see this person to be completely different. Um, they like to enjoy their life because they have been through a lot. But at the same time, they, they choose the people uh, who they want to. Um, their friend circle is going to be limited to is what I'm picking up. Let's see what else we can understand of your person's nature, future or anything to do with them. The future spouse. I really don't think that this is somebody that you already know, obviously. I really feel like, you know, this is somebody who is going to be a new person walking into your life. Uh, we are also going to pull out some cards uh, to see when you can meet this person, even though I can sense July. But we're going to find out more about it. Let's see. <clears throat> what else do we need to know about this person? This person is very comforting, loving, emotional, and intuitive. This person is somebody who listens to their heart, their intuitive sights, insights are something which they can always trust and rely. So like I said earlier, I really feel like you know, this person is somebody who is very spiritual. Um, this person likes to take care of other people as well as you used to or as you also likes to take care of them, uh, other people in your life. So I really feel like, you know, like I said earlier, I really see there is a connect. Um, there is a spiritual connection that you're going to feel towards this person, which is amazing. Let's see some charms now. Let's see what the charms has to add to the read about your future spouse. Or let's uh, take the cards asking the question before I forget. Uh, when can you expect this meetup to happen? When can you expect this meetup to happen? <clears throat> when can you expect this meetup to happen? When can you expect to meet this person? When can you expect... Five days, five weeks, and five months, or the fifth month of the year could also be the time. But let me see, under the deck card, we do have 10, so it can be in the month of uh, October for some of you. Uh, it can be in 10 days, 10 weeks time as well. So let's see the charms now. Let's see what the charm has to add, and probably we're gonna have a month, month card in that as well. Let's see. What else can you get to know about your future spouse? So we don't have a month card here, but yeah, uh, you are my happiness. This person is going to be willing to provide that caring connection that you look forward to. I really feel like, you know, this person is going to be the one uh, who's going to make you happier than ever. And I feel like, you know, this person is going to feel like you are with yourself. Like, you know, this person is going to feel so, going to make you feel so um, relaxed and happy uh being uh with, with with them i really feel like you know, this person is not gonna put any pressure on you um this person is gonna be somebody who's gonna work this connection out you are going to feel instant connection and feel the urge to be together instantly uh when it comes to alphabets we do have a v p x another v d e t S O. 
So these could be your name initial, name initial of the person. I really feel like, you know, this person would be somehow, um, you know, um, this person could be divorced for some of you. Maybe they have ended a connection or, or like a marriage or something. Uh, this person can be somebody who is, uh, you know, um, definitely they will be single. Um, but they might have been in marriage before. Uh, this person is going to love you to the moon and back. This person is going to be very rich, very stable. They might have some sort of love for cars or, uh, you know, the sports car or something like that. But this person will be a provider. This person is going to be somebody who has a um, long-term plan with you instantly when they see you, <clears throat> when they meet you. I feel like, you know, this person is always going to be the support that you need to pursue your dreams and desires. Uh, this person can be very uh, personal in terms uh, personal and private. Somebody who uh, who doesn't go with the pace of life, basically. I really see this person to be chilled out. Uh, this person is going to be somebody who is... Uh, who's not like chasing someone or something. They're chilled out. You know, they want to enjoy their life. They might have done that before. They might have chased people in their life before. Not anymore. This person is somebody who believes in relaxing, enjoying. I really feel like, you know, this person and you are going to be traveling a lot. Uh, and I really feel like, you know, this person is going to bring the best out in you. So this person is going to instill love, trust, hope in your life again. This person is going to make you believe in your dreams all over again. So I really see this person to be uh, the perfect uh, partner that you can have in life. And um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. And yeah, till I do the next read for you guys. Take care and uh, bye.